Wheels are true and ready to hit the road. The road is like this, look at that. Good morning. Allah's Ullaston Tree National Park. That way is raining and headwind. Oh, there you go. Sun is shining and life is good. Amazing. My adventures continued in Arctic summer, where I had the sun shining all the night. I left the cabin in the forest and started cycling towards the town in North Lapland called Inari. In Inari, I am going to meet one of my favorite people, Juho. Juho is a blacksmith from Finland and he lives in Inari. He is going to forge me a puko knife blade. Puko knife is a traditional craft of Finland, which is well known worldwide. This kind of view now. I've been almost three days only on off-road and gravel road, so it's really nice to get out of here and be in this kind of road. Pallas Ullaston Tree National Park. This is a guide for it. My bike has a 32 spoke wheels with disc brake. And when I cycle off road, my wheels often need truing. All is good. Wheels are true and ready to hit the road. Today was raining all the day. I took the car road from Kittila to Sodankula. I will go back to Rovaniemi. In Rovaniemi, I'm going to lighten up my setup a little bit and start to cycle the Arctic bike packing road and then back towards Africa. Let's go. Today I cycled 90 kilometer and pretty dead now. But it was, it was fun indeed. This is the river in Sadankula. It's 12 midnight. Let's go and find if there's some shop open or something or I can dumpster dive or do something. I need to get some food. I'm really hungry. Beautiful, beautiful, really Arctic. I tell you that this midnight sun is unbelievable, really. My favorite. Let's see where I can find food today. Put my tent somewhere where I find the lava when I sleep and tomorrow I will have a long day. I will have a race in the next five days, I tell you that. I just, I just seen this reindeer and it's just a fresh one. Super fresh. If you see, just has died. Amazing, beautiful. Belongs to Marcus. Payman called the police to inform them about the reindeer and moved it away from the road to avoid further accidents, since other animals tend to gather around roadkill. Beautiful, beautiful horn indeed. Yeah. I would guess it's a couple of years old then. It just happened maybe an hour ago. As you can see, meat is very fresh. If it was a deer, I could eat it, but this reindeer belongs to people, basically. So I can't really, yeah. Good morning. I slept last night in this bus station. I was just too lazy to put up the tent. And actually, it was not bad, it was all right. Okay.
Today I'm pretty tired. Yesterday I think I cycled at 110 or 120 kilometer. Now there is a cafe over there. I go for a coffee over there. And that would be really, really nice. Actually, it's safer for them to be in a forest than road. <laughs> this is my campsite last night I slept here. It's actually a first time I pinched the Cimarron tent with the inner nest. So as you can see, looks like this. Yeah, looks pretty good to me, but I think I didn't pitch it properly. So I have to a little bit practice that. But look at this one. And a small Prusik knot over there. That's it. That's how I hang it. I have 10 kilometers to Rovaniemi. Over there I can pack, repack basically my equipment and take a little bit lighter gear. Then I will test the Arctic bike packing route. I'm really looking forward to this. This guy's shout. There's some technical sections, pretty hard ones and some easy. It's quite a mix. Changing of the season in Finland is really beautiful indeed. It's just amazing. People ask me often, what do you like the most? I don't really understand the question because I think every country, every continent has their own beauty. Sahara is amazing in its own way. Here is unbelievably beautiful in its own way. Like everywhere is nice. I recorded the video about the dynamo hub and solar panels. It's done. And I did actually a little bit edit it here also. <laughs> this is my working office today. In summer, it's really possible to work outside. It's pretty easy. But in winter, I cannot take the just computer out. It's impossible. Anyway, I wanted to show you this, this lava place, how it is. As you can see, here is the wood shed. Look at here. Government provides this wood and over there there is a lake. I go show you the lake. And also actually usually there is a dry toilet. I forgot to say that. That is the dry toilet. Okay, yeah. That's it. It's really, really a nice and a cool place. I really, really like this place. My campsite now is a mess, absolutely. It's a fireplace. There's two fireplaces here. One is there. One is here. And an amazing table. I like it. That table is just beautiful. I love it. And a... Uh, Let's have a walk towards the lake. Look at this. <sighs> Amazing. Today I had a shower just over there. I really can emphasize how much I enjoy being in the nature. And today I seen the family of black grouse just there, on top of this hill, very close to my campsite. And let's see the cloudberries. There you go. Here we got them. Okay, I think I wrap my campsite and go towards the town, and then I edit the video, rest of the video over there, and and tomorrow, and maybe day after tomorrow. I start to cycle towards towards north. So I head off from the campsite now and the road is like this, look at that. Absolutely impossible to cycle. And there's so much stones. I have 320 kilometers to Inari and I need to make it in two and a half days. Today is Sunday, now is around 7 p.m. I need to be in Inari Wednesday 
morning. It's an interesting challenge, two and a half day and 328 kilometer. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. Today I already have done 38 kilometer. I think today I cycle around 80 or 100. I sleep, I wake up early morning. I'm really good with that. I wake up early morning and I start to cycle again off towards the tomorrow 120 more and day after tomorrow 120 then I'm there. Also of course it's going to rain also and that's really nice. This place is a swamp and now cloudberries are ripe. Let's go and check it out. There is that place. Uh -huh. Yes, look at here. Amazing. Um, too tasty. Oh, there's a ripe ones here. Look at that place. Today I need to do and tomorrow also 140 more, then I'm in Inari. <clears throat> Beer can next to the berries. It's the wrong place. I throw it there, then I can take it later. <clears throat> when sometimes I forget to clean the pods, this happens. And now I want to go coughing, I have to clean that one up. It's pretty messy. I just burn the pod, it's easy. These titanium pods, pods are so good. Today I haven't had a coffee yet, so I need to have my morning coffee and it's like 3 p.m. I really need morning coffee now. <laughs> 120 is done. I've got so many kilometers to go tonight. 240 kilometer to Inari. I should cycle today 100 kilometer. I don't have a second option really. And now it's almost 9 o'clock. I will cycle till 2 or 3 a.m. Then the rest of it tomorrow. I will make it by tomorrow evening there. Yes! This is how La Plan looks like at 10.30 p.m. Sun is shining and life is good. So thank you, like only 20. Yes. That way is raining and headwind. I really don't want to go that way, to be honest. <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh, look at there, left side. Look at there. Until tomorrow morning, I need to make 190 kilometers, then I am in Inari. owner of this house was really kind let me to just have a shelter for the rain over there or I don't know what you call those things in English <laughs> it wasn't rain really it was ice and luckily I'm going that way it's blue sky and that way it's still raining and I'm not going there let's go that way escape the rain I got like 150 or 60 more kilometers to go today and it is 7 p.m. almost so it will be a long night let's make the last 160 kilometer I need to cycle and cycle and cycle yes beautiful <laughs> can you believe this was the same place half an hour ago it was cats and dog raining and icing and whatever and now there you go sun is shining and life is good luckily this road is in a very good condition it's easy to cycle slowly it's uphill all the time but it's okay it's not that bad at all oh, i think we have 110 kilometers to 
e -Volo. For this next 100 kilometers, I take a bus so I can record the knife making process. Now I wait here for the bus to come and I go to Inari. Yeah, with the wind it was impossible to cycle to make it. So it's okay, it's life. This was the bus? I hope not. I don't think so. I hope this wasn't the bus. You can't really see anymore, but it's like a 260 one kilometer I have done. There's a flag of a uh, Sami nation. They're basically indigenous uh, people of northern part of Finland and yeah, amazing culture and beautiful people really. I have quite many friends from this community and I really love them so much. They have a huge knowledge about nature and how to live in this part of the world and I know nothing about it I'm not the one to speak about that and I think it is the this is their border borderline I'm not sure the bus really didn't take me it just drove past me I called them I asked them why you didn't stop they just said yeah we didn't stop because of this headwind and the rain I really couldn't make the last uh, 80 kilometer but my friend the blacksmith he's going to come and pick me up with the car, it's super kind from him. He's a full of bicycle. I wanted to go there. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. What a place. Really, really interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Beautiful. The signs here are in Sami and Finnish, which is really nice actually. Juho just came and brought me with his car to the to his home and tomorrow morning at six o'clock we are going to start to forge the blade and I'm going to record it. So here's Mr. Juho Kortoniemi. Terve, ole Juho ja teen näitä sepään hommia ja vähän muitakin hommia. <laughs> Enimmäkseen muita hommia. <laughs> Today he will show us how the traditional Finnish knife blade is being forged. Kiitos kovasti. Kiitos. Kiitos. Watching a puko blade being forged and having one was one of my dream and I was so happy for this opportunity. Now, finally, I was going to own a proper puko. These are some of Juho's handmade pukos. These knives are crafted to last for a lifetime. Okay, Oletko peinon takonu ikin? Joo. Tässä vaiheessa pitää katsoa, että se paksuin kohta teräs olisi tuossa.
now straightening the the blade. Morro, morro, what are you doing? Shumo, get to it. Absolutely love this work. Alkuperäisen näköinen, mutta huomata. Onko se suora? Nyt on suora. Oi sillä pinoollakin puukolla vuoli. Jotkut jättää sen jännityksen poiston kokonaan. Now as Juho explained, basically he's taking the stress out from the blade so he's heating it up 600 degree about Hunahekku become a red color and then after that cool down the blade slowly then the stress is out so this the very stone and then you can go cargas will be a lot of people and you know see and I guess about they they did that yeah need to some boys to but the normal is on the say on the left is a bit that is only get to the Karkasulämpö käytännössä ja annetaan vaan ilmassa jäähty. Eli se karkasulämpö on väristä on tottunut katsomaan, niin voi magneetilla testata, että milloin se magneettisuus häviää. Niin tarpeeksi hyvä. Nyt voi sitten katsoa, että pysyykö se suorana. So basically, now you only put the part of the blade which you cut in the oil. So that part is hard, but the rest of it, it's not hard because the whole blade needs to be flexible also. Sitten se pitäisi päästää vielä. Eli nyt laitetaan se 680 astetta, vaikka tavallinen sähköuuni, vielä tuonne sisälle se uuni. Se jännää. He tested if it is hard enough, and now after that it goes to the oven for 180 degree. It stays in the oven for over. You have also forged payment a fire steel. Kymmenen vuotta sitten me lähi seppä koulu. Me olin Raumalla silloin opiskelin ja. teknisen työopettajaksi. Nyt aika hitaa. Onko se hyvä? Tosi hyvä se. Se mie karkasee suola veteen, tuo öljy tekis liian pehmeä siitä. Ai jaa. Vino, mutta ei se varmaan peimä niin haittaa. Ei mua. So the salt helps the water cool down the metal much faster. No, it doesn't need to be able to use it. And as much as metal cools down faster, it becomes harder. And with this flint steel, the idea is the steel to be as hard as possible. Tuliiko oikeesti? Mä oon valmis. Musta on parempi. Kiitos siellä. Kiitos, kiitos jopa. Lähtikö kipiin? Terävää reunausta. Kolme sormea näin. Ja sitten ihan tuonne viistöön. Tämmöisellä saa näin vähällä voimalla. Ei tarvitse yhtä voimaa. Hyvä. Mm.
got everything from Juho. He did the knife and traditional fire making steels and gave the curly birch and some pieces of copper so I can make the handle myself. All is good. Juho also showed me how to make a fire using hand drill. He used at the bottom a piece of chaga mushroom which catches the fire very easily compared to the wood. Big thanks to Juho really for everything. It was an amazing experience. I really enjoyed that. And I could edit the one video in his house. So they left and they gave me the key. They said just stay and do whatever you want. And I edit the comparison between the dynamo hub and solar panel over there. And yeah, it was really nice to stay there. And now I'm back to the road and just entering Inari. Ah, yeah, nice downhill to Inari. <laughs> Today I plan my my route to Norway. I don't know even the Norway borders are open or not to be honest. I just I just go there, show up, let's see what they say. Check the map to choose the rest of the route. This is the Arctic bike packing route. I'm going to have a nice uh, detour. In north, go towards um, Kargasniemi, and then from there, go to Norway. And there's an old post road. I'm going to cycle that one. Some really nice off road, and it is a part of this um, Arctic bike packing route. This route, uh, this route I'm taking, and then after that, back to Inari, and then we'll cycle the same road back to Rovaniemi, and then I will be over there for a couple of months cycling. Around Rovaniemi there is so many really nice old forests in autumn time I will be there because I really love the autumn there. Two weeks of autumn called Ruska, it's amazingly beautiful in, in Rovaniemi, it's so nice. When the, all the trees leave they change their color and the moss is orange and red, it's just forest is in a fire, like a beautiful fire, not a real fire, so it's amazing. And then after that slowly by slowly cycle back towards Africa. I hope borders are open. Good morning. Beautiful wooden boat. Our big cameras, remote controls, battery it was empty. I noticed it yesterday. I charged it last night. And let's see now if it's working. Yes. Alice Gla. I'm going to buy food for one week and then I'm off. Yes, that's what we do. I hope to catch some fish also, but it's not smart to count on that one. These reindeers, they do absolutely whatever they want in this town. So 
water. I'm getting out of Ivalo. I'm going towards Karigas near me. Look at that. And after a while, I will be in an Arctic bikepacking trail. Ugh, I cannot wait. That sign was showing where the reindeers live in Finland, in northern part. Yeah, finally started to rain, as you can see. I find this small shelter. <laughs> but yeah, I think this rain should stop. Over there, as you can see, looks good. But the problem is I'm going that way, and that way doesn't look good. <laughs> and indeed, it looks dark. <laughs> I'm in Inari Lake. So it was starting to rain and I started to fish. Look, I'll go first one. I try to catch two more and then I'm good to go. <laughs> I got the dinner for today. How about that? <laughs> That's amazing. I will catch more for sure. Ah, I got it. I got it. It's a big one. Look at that. This is really a big one. Okay. Quite a big one. This is the second one. Nice. to go to bed I got nine fish tomorrow I'm going to eat all the day fish and those fish are really tasty I tell you that <laughs> down a sleeping bag going to thank me so much because of all this moisture <laughs> mm. anyway tomorrow is going to be sunny day so I can dry out everything In the next vlog you will see me cycling towards the northern part of Norway and then in northern part of Norway I'm going to take the Arctic bikepacking route. It's a absolutely a stunning trail. And if you want to craft your own Pukko knife, there is a link in the description below. You can order from Juho one of his handmade blade which will last you a lifetime if you don't lose it and you're gonna have to pass it to the next generation. And also, if you wish to receive a ready knife, you can ask Juho about it. Thanks for watching. Remember to do all of those good YouTube stuff. I'm not going to repeat those in this video. It's getting dark and I'm going to keep cooking my evening meal. Bye-bye. See you on the road. Go and do your own adventure.